wasn't expecting that. I just put on the six cents uh, whale, throw it on top, and got me a little decent one there. Cool. Goodbye. All right, so yeah, today I'm out here just fun fishing, trying out different things like this whale. I don't know what color it is. I'll post it right here, what color it is. Quarter ounce belly weight, and I'm just kind of working on top of the water. We got an overcast day today. It's kind of foggy. So this is like the perfect presentation to find some fish. We found one so far. See if there's some more around here. This is a good searching bait for top water kind of stuff here in Florida on the, around the Kissimmee grass, as you can see. That's what we're doing right now, and we might just change up some stuff later today. And I'm liking the way that this thing swims oh man that works good before i put this on the six cents whale i had the gambler big easy i had that on and i didn't really like the way it was swimming on top of the water maybe it was just something i was doing wrong but I put this on i like the way it swims i'm not being biased or anything but i wish i could show you the difference i might have i might do that see if i can film the difference of it shut up Thank you, but yeah, I'll show the difference here in a little bit. Another one, little guy, smaller than the last one, but it's working. It is working and they're wanting it too. They're just eating it. Goodbye. The only thing with this right now is every time I catch a fish, I have to re-rig it have to screw it back in but we're catching fish on it so it makes a good sound in the water too i like the sound it's almost like a whopper plopper this is like the equivalent of a grass whopper plopper i think that's what it, that's what it reminds me of i'll turn up the audio see if you can hear it i don't know if you can hear that or not but it's a good little bubbly action. All right, next time I catch a fish on this, I'll switch back to the Gambler Easy, Big Easy, and show you the difference between the two. But let me see if I can get some footage of it swimming right here. Look at the tail on that thing. So you got the idea of how that works. Let me see if I can catch one real quick to make this one come off. Dude, <laughs> he jumped off his little guy, but uh, now I'm all tangled up. All right, so this one, I could probably use it again, but we're gonna put on the Gambler, eat Big Easy, and I'll show you the difference with this one. Same hook. So it's got a little bit of action, but I feel like the whale has more of a tighter tail action. This one has more of a body roll. So you can see a difference there. You get the idea. I don't know. I just like the way that the whale swims. And I like the way it sounds too in the water because there's a little bit of different tail to it. I'll show you up close with the tail. So there's the tail there. You can kind of see how it's shaped. And then there's the tail, big easy, a little bit thicker. So it's not gonna move as much as the little thinner tail of this one. I feel like this is more of a paddle, more pronounced of a paddle anyways. Nothing against Gambler. And I'm not trying to be biased with six cents since like, you know, I'm partnered with them, whatever, but it is what it is and I'm just, showing you my experiences with them the fog is lifted we're gonna be losing our overcast here in a little bit so that means we're gonna have to we're gonna have to switch to something else and obviously you want to be throwing this on braid i think i have either 30 or 40 pound braid just because you're throwing this in grass and you want to get the fish out of the grass throwing like fluorocarbon or monofilm it's not the deal for that came out today not knowing what kind of video i wanted to make today uh, but this swim bait thing just said something to me down deep in my gut saying this is the deal so i tried it oh just...
Jesus. This is a big one. It's not that big. Decent. All right, I got a story to tell you right there. You just saw it. <laughs> wow, that was wild. So I'm talking to you guys about why I'm using, or like it, how this swim bait thing just kind of said something to me. Got a bite, I missed it. Threw back in there and I got it. And when he missed it, or when I missed it, he just hit the tail. As you can see there, the tail ripped off. I just threw back in there knowing that the tail was there and I just let it sink and he came back and got it. I mean, it's, that's a solid one. Not a giant like I thought it was gonna be, but that's a good, um, probably 18, 17 and a half. Probably like a two pounder or something. And I brought my scale. I'm starting to think the scale's good luck now instead of bad luck. Three pounder, 317. All right, goodbye. All right, she's gone. She gone. Good deal. Good deal. The whale works, even without a tail. The whale without a tail. So on the, on the thicker Kissimmee grass, where it's a little thicker in areas, I usually just fish the outside edge of it. And when it gets really sparse, that's when you just throw in the middle. And we're fishing the windblown side. And, I, and the day before, I knew that the wind was going to be coming out of the south. And I knew I wanted to fish this side of the lake because the wind's blowing into it, you know. We're fishing the north end. That just sets up for a really good reaction bite with this wind like how it is. But when it gets too windy and you start having rollers come in here, the fish ain't going to hang out because it's just not comfortable for them. Most of the time when it gets like crazy wind, they'll push offshore somewhere where it's calmer for them. The downside of that is kayaks are really light. So you have to stay on top of your kayak to not get blown in the grass, which why this motor comes in handy. That's why I went back to it. Like the Outback, I'd be moving more than fishing. So with the motor, it, the motor just does all the work. All I have to do is push one button. And I can still just fish, you know, more, more time in the water equals more bites. Most of the time with this kind of fishing, you'll get that size fish, like a three pounder. Or so sometimes you might get a giant, but most of the time you'll get like that or smaller just because they're more active than a bigger fish would be a bigger fish. They like stuff slow and easy for them to eat. They don't want, they don't want to work for it that much. That's my guess. Anyways, I was just speculating. Oh, let's see that little guy. Gotta tear him up, my tear up my my whale. I saw him come chase it too. Little guy, goodbye. And then when I have to re-rig, I just hit the spot lock anchor or whatever you call it, the anchor lock, and re-rig, get all situated. Get back to it. This, oh, I had something. <laughs> I had something and he messed me up. And you can see the sun starting to come up. I don't know. We still have the wind, which helps with the this type of fishing. The wind will create waves, obviously. And <laughs> it just breaks up the water where top water is usually pretty good. But now that the sun's coming out, I don't know. It's, it's we'll have to wait and see. We stop getting bites okay so this is a different way of rigging it it's not the exact way i want it to go right now but it's what we're going to try get a regular hook this is kind of a too small of a hook i have a four aught just ewg i want something with a belly weight on it that way i can let it sink if i need to like a quarter ounce or something like that but i don't have a belly weighted ewg you, there is weights you can add on to it but you probably want like a five aught or maybe a six aught but four aught's a little too small and then one of the main things you want is this nose cone that just kind of screws in to the nose of the bait that helps keep grass off and makes it go through the Kissimmee grass a lot easier. So that's the ideal way of rigging it. I think won't come off the hook as easy as it did with this other hook here, which is with the screw lock type deal. So 
just that with a belly weight is the way to go try it i don't know if we're going to get any more bites with it now since it's not overcast anymore but we'll, we'll still give it a go for a little bit and then probably just switch to a speed worm and just start dragging the bottom of the lake and see if we can get any bigger fish but let's 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 get out there so now that you can see what i'm talking about if the waves are like like how they are in front of me white capping pushing into this grass now i have a feeling that the fish might move off this grass because they don't want to get beat up against you know grass so they're gonna probably be pushed off to the next best thing which is some underwater grass which that's where the electronics come in handy so you can find some offshore grass and just work the worm through there but with this lake there's not much offshore grass like that so and plus it's really not fishable i mean you're trying to fish a certain thing and you're getting pushed like crazy somewhat manageable with the uh trolling motor but not completely see how i'm getting like rocked i would try to go on the other side of the lake to get away from those waves but i don't feel like getting beat up with those white caps which just be nothing but getting wet so we'll, we'll wait it out a little bit see if it calms down any but if it stays like this for the next 30 minutes or so we're probably just gonna head back if it was a tournament that'd be a different story i would battle through all this just to get to the other side but it's not worth it. i mean it's not risky or anything it's just i don't feel like getting wet so we're gonna go back to the spot where i was catching those fish with the whale see if i can get some with the worm slow down a little bit we'll see if not then we'll probably just call it a day well, short trip today, but we did catch some fish this morning on the six cents whale in the green pumpkin juice. When it was nice and overcast and we had some fog, light wind, but now as you can see, the wind has picked up quite a bit. Bright sun, I think the bite is just turned off and it's just almost impossible to fish in this stuff anyways, unless I was on the other side of the lake, which in a tournament I would have done, no problem, just go over there, battle the waves, you know, just get wet i don't really feel like doing that today i think this morning was just good enough you know just fishing with this and seeing the difference between this one and the gambler big easy like i said there's nothing wrong with it but i do just prefer the action of this one over this one i mean they they both have their you know their pros not really any cons there's they just they just work two different ways and i just prefer this one I'm not trying to be um biased but just how it is just to recap this one has a little bit of a belly roll to it when it's going through the water this one is more streamlined but the tail just goes crazy when you're fishing this on top of the water it doesn't really make that much of a bubble noise but this one it does it makes quite of a bubble noise which i like a lot and i just think it gets the fish active and wanting them to eat it even more my just thoughts of these two i mean they did both they definitely have their place and i just prefer this one but anyways um that's just how it went today i had a gut feeling that that was the way to go and it turned out it was i just love fishing that way inside kissimmee grass and just getting a good topwater bite like that so anyways uh even though it's a short trip i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like on the bottom subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll catch you in the next one peace